Welcome back everyone to the LXC channel. Luis Javier Cano or Luis Xavier, however you want to call me. So today's video is going to be about this 1972 Sport Custom F100. I'm going to bring it over to the bench, drop it right there. I'm going to give you guys a small unboxing of the Ford. I opened it the other day to check it out. So let me stop the video and get this box open and I'll bring you guys right back. Bam, right there. Right away, we have the glass, front glass, rear glass, and the glass for the pillars on the doors. And then we also have the lenses for the front headlights. Next, we have nicely detailed chrome plated front and rear bumper. Here we have some tires. We have five tires. The extra one goes underneath the truck on the frame. There's that. Over here we have a cab, which I'll put aside right there and show you guys later. Over here we got some nice selection of rims. We got the five spokes right here. And then we also have the hubcaps, the original ones right there. Over here we got a super clean front grille. As you guys can see, it's cut out already so you don't have to modify it. You don't have to use any panel line accent color by Tamiya. Molding right there is for the tailgate. So you can put that on there if you want to or not. It's up to you. Over here we got the frame. Super clean frame, straight. Shouldn't have any issues with the cab and the bed lining up. Not sure what that piece right there is. Over here we got these two clean pieces right there. Next up we have the tailgate. That piece goes right there. And you have the option of just painting it yourself. Maybe sanding off this one and then putting this one on. Or I'm pretty sure that fits right on top of that. But there's different options you could do. There's the back, the tailgate. You have another bumper right here. And then some suspension parts right there, super clean. Right here we got the stock wheels and then the radiator. This is pretty interesting. They actually included some motor mounts, looks like it. That's the first time I ever see something like that. Over here we got a steering wheel. Not the best steering wheel, but pretty sure it's easy to find a nicer looking one. Over here we got the, I'll put this aside to show you guys with the body, along with the hood. But next up we have some door panels. Super clean, shouldn't have any issues when spraying primer and your colors on this. You won't have any issues of it covering up with the primer. Like I've experienced with 1978 AMT. But here's the bench seat right there. Over here we have the, the floor piece for the interior right there. The bottom piece. Some nice detail they included into this. Here's the gas tank right there that goes behind the seat. But you can move it to the frame if you want to. Here's the floor for the bed right there. Bottom side. Here's the inner panels for the bed. Here's the tubs, the walls. And next up we got the, the dash. There, super clean, nicely detailed by Mobius Models. We have some other pieces right here. The firewall. Here's the back piece for the tailgate. Oh, oh. Um, right here we have the radiator support, the top piece. Um, next up we have some frame pieces. There's the differential rear end, leaf springs, visors. This brakes, not really, but anyways. <laughs> um, there's the uh, pedals, a few other frame pieces. There's the pumpkin, that's the spare tire, spare rim. Next up, we have some. Here's the motor. I'm not too sure on the what motor this kid has, uh, but uh, I'll let you guys know in the description. Pretty sure you guys know already. Uh, here's Look at the pieces right here. It actually comes with uh, dual mufflers right here. It's just that the other one fell off. 
Next up, we have some decals. We got different options for the license plate. I'll probably be using the 1972. And then make a custom one for the rear one. Here we have some emblems, white walls. Uh, that's the emblem for the trim. I think it's that one right there that goes in the hood. That's the bed decal, sport custom. And then right here we have some different options for the tailgate. I saw a video where people use these decals right here for the hood, but that's incorrect. These are just if you want the letters to be a color, black or white on the tailgate. Apparently on the instructions it says those are for the hood. You see that? They're too big for the hood. So they have to be for the tailgate there. But moving on from the decals, let's go over to the bed and the cab. Super clean. Hottie right here. You guys do have to paint uh, this piece right here black in case you guys want to give that more realistic look. I like the cover photo right there. Something I noticed earlier when I was trying to film this video, but I kept failing, was they actually have a mistake right here. That I'm pretty sure no one has noticed, I think. But you guys see how the cover photo has the trim back there, and right there. Look at this. I guess I'm gonna have to end up sanding off the trim. I didn't really want to sand it off, but I don't think there's any other fix to that. But yeah, that's kinda that's kinda odd how they missed that right there. But besides that point, the bed panels are super, super nice. And then here's one last view, inner fenders. It is missing the little pillar right here for the side glass. I'm not sure if the glass will have that, I doubt it. There's my little review on the 1972 Sport Custom. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Before ending the video, I want to let you guys know that I appreciate all the subscribers and new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to share the videos with your friends, that would help a lot. Get the views up, get the subscribers up. Stay tuned for future videos and updates on some of the builds. Later.